Hey YouTube, I got a quick deck profile that I'm going to do. I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I'd just throw out my Gravekeeper deck that I've had for a while. Uh, never got around to doing a deck profile on this one, because uh, it's an old deck. Deck type that's been around for a long time. But here, here's my Gravekeeper's build. I'm not going to do an extra deck. I'll just It's just basically whatever you want to build as far as extra deck cards or side deck cards go. So I run one Chief... Uh, he's probably he's the better tribute monster because he helps make same field presence Basically you tribute summon him and then you special summon a gravekeeper from the graveyard when Necro Valley is on the field Or actually no, you don't even need Necro Valley uh, One gravekeeper's visionary I put him in here because he, he used to be pretty good a lot of a lot of the top gravekeeper decks don't use this it's hard to get rid of when you have Gravekeeper in your hand, but you have to keep on sending the graveyard to protect him. And those are the tribute monsters. Uh, next, I've got three Gravekeeper's Commandant. Searches out the field spell card, and with the field spell, he's 2100. Next, three Gravekeeper Spy. This is standard for Gravekeeper's. Helps maintain field presence, it has 2,000 defense, and then with Necro Valley it has 2,500 defense. Next, this is probably the most annoying card for people to go over against. Uh, Gravekeeper's Ascendant. You can tribute one Gravekeeper monster you control, accept this card, destroy a card on the field, or destroy a card your opponent controls. And then, probably the Heart and Soul, Triple Gravekeeper's Recruiter. This is probably the best. Gravekeeper in the deck. It's the one with a descendant. You keep on basically you keep plussing off of this. And then I put in two Gravekeeper's Guard because they're really good against Synchros and Exceeds. They bounce cards back to the hand. So, and then the last Gravekeeper is one Gravekeeper's Assailant. I put this in here. Uh, it's just one. It's pretty good when you have uh, Necro Valley on the field. It's kind of like enemy controller effect. You can change the battle position. And then to protect, because this deck is very dependent on field on the field spell, uh, I run two Malefic Stars Dragon, just to help protect it and keep it on the field. And then I put in one to Sukuyomi, uh, just just to try it out in here, see if it's good. And then the last monster, I put one Gale, just to allow Gravekeepers to run Synchro Monsters, like Arcanite Magician. And that rounds out the monster count. So for spells, Triple Necro Valley, obviously, for this, you're going to run three of this field spell for, for Gravekeepers. And then one Royal Tribute. Uh, because sometimes I don't like to get rid of my uh, my own monsters, so I just put one. And then to recover Gravekeepers, especially since I run uh, Visionary, uh, and you want to recruit, you want to use Recruiter again and again, you, you run two Gravekeeper Stell. So these are the like the Gravekeeper theme specific spell cards. And then the other generic spells, I have two duality because the deck doesn't special summon that much with the exception of Malefic and then the Exceeds. One Heavy Storm and one Dark Hole. This is one of the few decks that I actually don't have Monsterborn here because it's not necessary because the Necro Valley is always active. You don't need to rely on it. And then one Allure of Darkness because all the monsters in the deck are dark monsters except for Commandant. One Book of Moon, and one MST, and then one tech card that I put in, because I run the, the Tribute Monsters, for the Tribute Gravekeepers, I run one Magical Dimension, uh, usually that's how I bring out Visionary, uh, or you can Tribute into him, because his, he has, he though he's like a level 8 monster, uh, his effect, one, one of his effects is you can Tribute one Gravekeeper to summon him, so you don't have to Tribute two. And then for trap cards, one Starlight Road, because, well, again, protect Necro Valley and your back row, I guess. Or just protect your Gravekeepers from Dark Hole. 
and then one mirror force, torrential tribute, and then double compulse. So the deck is pretty standard. You can probably change up the trap cards if you want. Uh, I like to run one chief and one visionary. Sometimes I take visionary out and run two chief, or sometimes I just take all the like both of them out and I side out uh, magical dimension. But yeah. Basically for the extra deck, the, ma the main card that I have is triple Stardust Dragon and then everything else is like Utopia and all the generic stuff like Maestro. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Gravekeeper deck. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think about it, let me know how I can improve it. I, it's Gravekeeper is not a whole lot you can change, it's pretty standard these days. Uh, the only main thing is you just wouldn't run uh, the big monster, Visionary. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, see ya.